uh, now I will describe the uh, method of isolation and the potential culture and the characterization of the primary stem cell derived from different sources. Uh, first source is the rat bone marrow, second human adipose tissue, third human amyloid. Here we will describe uh, the methods of uh, isolation of uh, rat bone marrow in the primal stem cell. Other than that, is the breakdown rats that's weighing 118 to 218 gram, served as bone marrow donor. Bone marrow was obtained from long bones of other breakdown rats for each experimental rat. Bone marrow cells were isolated from donor, for donor rats. The bones were sterilized by immersion in spent ethanol. The ends of the bones were cut, and the bone marrow was extruded by inserting a needle in one end through the bone shape. And injection of tissue culture media DMM containing 10% vitamin serum. The effluent was collected in a sterile tube. Gentle by getting result in the obtaining of a single cell suspension. The second source of uh, uh, the stem cell is human adipose tissue. To date, we have obtained stem cell from virtually all of other uh, all over the body in the hopes of finding ways to avoid the ethical issues associated with embryonic stem cell. New, uh, newer research studies have now looked at the potential to use stem cell sources from fat. The benefit is that fat is already available and it can be extracted without complication compared to some of the other methods of stem cell sourcing. Excess adipose tissue is often available in the form of the thick tissue from elective plastic surgery, procedure to for example adrenoplasty or breast reduction. Likewise, variation from liposuction procedure is also to convenient the source of tissue for isolation of the chimal stem cell. A human with the chimal stem cell, the fat tissue is liposuccinated, is already significantly associated, so processing is simplified. The tissue is, was placed in a sterile specimen container at the time of harvest. Tissue was stored at ambient temperature and processed within eight hours. Refrigeration was avoided is, uh, if possible because they leave it, uh, leave it hardened at low temperature. Tissue may be stored overnight at 4 degrees centigrade. However, it should equilibrate at ambient temperature prior to processing 50 grams of adipose tissue or 15 milligrams uh, of LIBO. LIBO uh, spirit was conventionally processed using uh, 15 milli style disposable conical centrifuge view. Uh, the third uh, type of uh, the common stem cell derived from uh, human amniotic fluid. Uh, Multi-water stem cells are also found in the amniotic fluid. These stem cells are very active, expanded stiffly without feeder and are not thermogenic. Amniotic stem cells are multi and they can be differentiated in cells of adipogenic, estrogenic, myogenic, endocellular, hepatic, and also neural lines. Those of stem cells from amniotic fluid overcome the ethical objection to using the human embryo as a source of the cells. It's like the baby swimming in the amniotic fluid inside the placenta. In the time, the cell was isolated from the amniotic fluid of pregnant women who underwent a caesarean delivery for pitch presentation. The samples were collected by punctuating the membranes after the uterine muscle was opened for the caesarean delivery. Cells were isolated for, uh, from the amniotic fluid sample no more than four hours prior to use. Uh, for um, showing uh, we have uh, the chimal stem cell, should we make some uh, tests like the uh, infiltral fibroblast, like C, uh, forming colony. Uh, the chimal stem cell, after being isolation characterized by their adherent to plastic concerns of the heterogeneous cell population, with a prominent spindle shape morphology, and we were able to form uh, like that. We have uh, colony shape. Uh, it's, it's segregated in uh, one zone. It's a source of the uh, provocation after that for fill uh, uh, the embedded uh, uh, zones here. That's derived from red bone marrow. Another source, uh, we have uh, a colony from human adipose tissue. 
like we have a three colony in this figure. In this colony here from um, a woman molecular fluid uh, aggregated one zoo. Uh, after that, uh, all the colony uh, were, were done uh, in, uh, in, in, in primary culture. Uh, after that, we can passage cells uh, to propagation uh, in batch 3. Uh, cells were provided in culture media with different passages. Within chemistry, cells were generated by standard procedure and grown for at least two passages. In culture, contaminating uh, hematopoietic cells were depleted during the passage 1 and the chemicals in cell were morphologically defined by fibroblast like appearance. Here we have the appearance of the. I will show some movie live uh, about this uh, injection. Uh, like a uh, tail gain injection. Simple morphy for injection stem cells or tail vein. Inject it slowly for keeping pulmonary. Five million of stem cells. That's the type of injection stem cells through the TV. Uh, another movie uh, injection stem cell under the capsule. Close the uh, skin only, not making skin here, but the uh, choice. Mm -hmm. I try to scratch the uh, membrane only. Uh, yes. Then I try to insert the uh, under membrane of the kidney. Then make a capsule. You can see uh, make capsule here. That's for drink only. And after that, uh, I inject that stem cell and other type of cell.
after the Stem cell can see direction of uh, stream from liquid through the needle. That follows after that by after taking the that's the last movie for uh, isolation stem cell from the right to marrow life, can you see? Yeah, we move this. 